There's our exit. About damn time. Half of Conrad's men are swinging from lampposts. Black eyes, swollen tongues. The rest are emptying clips into civilians, calling it resource management. All on Colonel Conrad say so, and yet, these people worship him. Why shouldn't they, right? They're clothed, fed, sheltered. And until we showed up, relatively safe from harm. These people killed Lugo to protect Conrad. And I killed them to protect myself. At least that's what I'm telling myself today. As an occupying force, it is important to set a good example. As such, please keep in mind the following protocols. Grooming standards are to be kept at all times. No fraternization with civilians of any kind. When off duty, please keep music, etc. at a reasonable volume, so as not to disturb the local population. Absolutely no drugs or stimulants except as provided by medical personnel. Alcohol restricted to one beer per soldier per day, with a meal as available. Share time on the putting green or access will be revoked. Each offense will warrant five demerits. Five demerits receives an official warning. Ten, two weeks hard labor. Fifteen, public flogging. Looting and excessive force are not tolerated and will be met with the strictest punitive measure. To my men, I don't need to remind you of the events which have led us here. We are each branded by our actions, for good or ill. Yes, there is darkness to come, but take heart, for the storm will soon break. There will be chaos in the coming days. As your commander, I know you will persevere. You are the Dan 33rd. It's been the greatest honor of my life to serve alongside you. That is why I can trust you with this final order. No matter what, endure. Be ever vigilant. Hold the line. Our captain. I've been forgetting when I am. You should know you're always there. And keep repeating the next time, time, next time, you won't. I hate this lie the most. Mostly, I just hate the want. Let's not prolong this any more than we have to. Jeremy. Someday, people will tell you about your father. For that, I'm sorry. I love you.